Hey guys, this is Caleb, and I'm going to show you a nice, and uh, it's very easy once you get the hang of it, way to just hook live bait. And uh, what this does is it keeps it alive for so much longer, and it makes it look like, like it's not hooked. Like it can swim around, it can do whatever it wants freely without um, damaging it, and it presents it like just like a live bait would act. So uh, the fish will start like hitting it, and I guarantee you will hook up with this. Um, what you want to have is some wire, like that, you have a rubber band, a tiny little rubber band, you want to make sure you bend the wire, by the way, you take a circle hook, um, like that, and that's just all you need, you need your live bait, a circle hook, a small rubber band, and some wire that's bent, you take the rubber band, you put it through the wire, just like that, and you take your hook, you just put in the little rubber band hole. So that's your setup right now. Nice and easy like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to take the wire, take your live bait, it's going to be flopping around so it's pretty hard, and then you just stick it through the soft spot of his nose. See, it's, a, it's like a nose piercing, putting it all the way through. You want to take the tag end and make sure it goes in the same hole and out the same hole, and I'll show you why. Because you want to pull, pull, Pull the rubber band through. So now you have a uh, rubber band sticking through the side of its nose. Now, you want to take it, you want to pull this tight. So you, you pull this tight, and you want to take the hook that's on this side, take it, and put it through the hole right here. So there you go. And now what you can do, you just pop this little wire out. So there you go, you have the hook coming through both sides, or going through both sides. And now you want to twist it once, twist it twice. So you do a complete 360. And then what you want to do, you're going to take it, pull it, put it sideways, pull it out, and then put it just under all of that. So now it's resting like this. And like I said, there's no hook sticking through it right now. So there's just a small little rubber band going through his nose. So he'll survive for a long time. One of the things you want to make sure is that you don't hook it through the eyes. That could damage it. But you just want to keep it like that. Uh, so it, it swims around nicely and it acts well. We like to use conventionals while doing this uh, because they have a clicker and it just works nice. Um, what you want to do is when you get a bite from a fish and it starts to pull out dragon stuff, you don't immediately set the hook. You want to flip the bale open while it's on clicker and it'll just, it'll rip out line for a little bit, maybe like 20 to 30 seconds, and then you flip the bail back open, and it'll set the hook nicely inside its mouth. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Um, of course, you will get quicker. It's not going to take a couple minutes to do this, because then the live bait will be dead. You'll get it where you can just stick it through, put the rubber band, twist the hook, and put it under real fast, and it keeps the uh, bait alive. And... That's pretty much it, so thank you for watching. Bye.